Hey everybody, how's it going? So we're gonna be doing the series of 2004 runner U-joint replacements for the drive shaft. Uh, so please stick around and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this finished. It's five something in the morning. It took a while, long break. Come on. Oh, it'd be nice if it goes into the tail shaft. Can't get it to go into the tail shaft for some reason. Really? <sighs> Transmission's still kind of leaking a little bit. I went and grabbed the towel because I don't like it scratching on the ground.
Okay. some blue Loctite. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Mm. Maybe a little off. I could turn it a little more, but I don't know if it will be too much. Give me a second.
way off. I have a feeling the truck might have moved just a slight bit since nothing was attached to it so I kind of took the emergency brake off. So I can manually just move the truck myself. Not one, not two, okay. Now the transmission's got it locked. Okay, so. I know it's kind of hard to see, I'm sorry, but... Yeah. 
doing the best I can at the moment. I don't technically fit under this truck, barely. I know for a fact my torque wrench is not going to fit under here, so I'm getting them as tight as I possibly can. They need to be 65 foot-pounds. one I probably put about 70 or 80 on it when I just did that I'm gonna have to move the truck a little bit.
Hopefully the camera will be alright. Uh, I didn't turn it on, I just used man strength. <laughs> okay. I put it back in park. This is only a 3 8 ratchet and I have a little extension on it so I'm not going to get a whole lot of torque with it but I'm hoping that what I'm applying is close to what it was of the 65 foot pounds because it was not easy to get off the first time. hurt my wrist so I think you're good there Let's see if I can get any more torque right here oh yeah I can get some more <clears throat> they're all tight they all should be good Okay. These over here. This over here. <clears throat> so, that's it. I don't remember if the grease zerks were on the actual yoke that's welded to the drive shaft or if the grease zerks were on the yoke that attaches to the the diff what I did is I put them both on the drive shaft themselves so they could have been on the on the the yoke that went into the transmission they could have been on the yoke that went and bolted to the the diff I don't remember I tried to line 
the pink marks I made on the housing with the uh, the grease zerks. So both grease zerks are facing down at the moment on the actual drive shaft or prop shaft. Um, and those marks I made on the transmission and the diff are also facing down. So I don't think it really matters which one it goes where because the grease zerks fit in one of the caps. So you're basically greasing all of them anyways. I don't really think it matters. I do not think that quarter of an ounce times two, you know, grease zerks are gonna actually throw off the balance, especially since the balance, the welded balance marks, um, there's like little metal discs welded on. I don't know if you see that, but those are also facing down. And on the rear, it's actually facing the gas tank. I'd say it's 20 degrees off from down. So this concludes the U-joint replacement. U-joint replacements on 2004 runner drive shaft. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you like the series and uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon if you want to see future updates and uh, go check out my Amazon affiliate links and I'll try to remember to put the tools that I used if you didn't watch part one or two. I'll try to link the tools um, that I specifically used. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.